Hello everyone, I'm Jackie Valentine and I work at the Fleet Science Center in Studio X, which is our maker space there. Today we are learning about the hollow face illusion. We actually have a project here to help you learn about it. What you're going to need for this project is only a few simple items that you can find at home. Things like you need a pair of scissors, you need some tape, you need a straight edge, Maybe you have a ruler or really anything with a nice um, straight flat edge. I have um, a level right here because it's going to be easier to fold with this than if I just use only my hands. And we'll talk about that in a moment. And then you also need a printer to print on some paper. And you also need to be able to have a, um, an internet connection to uh, download the templates from. Pretty sure if you're watching this video right now, you have at least one of those things. All right, let's get into the instructions um, for how to make this project. And remember, always have adult supervision, follow all instructions very closely, and don't forget to tag us on social media at Fleet Science and with the hashtag Fleet2Go, the word fleet, the number two, and the word go. The first step is to follow the link in the description of this video to print out a template for this project. There are a lot of different designs available, but the instructions work the same for all of them. If you have cardstock, a paper that is a little bit thicker than normal printer paper, use that. It will be a little bit easier to work with. Once you have printed out your template, you'll start with cutting along the lines. Now when you cut along the lines, you're going to want to cut along the solid lines that are around the outside all the way around including the little tabs here. You don't want to cut the tabs off. You want to include those in your project. All the, all the lines go around the entire outside except for that there's one line that you cut under the chin here. You can just see it very, very faintly. It says fold to here on at least this template. But any other template that has a chin like this, you're going to cut just to about the shoulder. This panel will fold around the back later. While you're cutting, you do not want to cut along the dotted lines. Those are actually folding lines. Now you'll notice that there's a lot of places where it says valley fold or mountain fold. You want to take note of that because that's going to help you know which direction to fold the paper later on. But we'll get to that. We'll talk about that in just a moment. Now I don't really want to waste your time watching me cut this paper. Um, so instead of just taking the paper and cutting it in front of you and taking all the time or even doing a time lapse, I'm just going to use a little bit of movie magic um, to get that done really quickly. And there you go. It's all cut out and ready for us to fold. Before we get folding, here's some detail of the project here. You can see that these tabs are still included in the project um, and that this cut, you can see that that flap is created just under the chin there. So that should be like that. You don't want to cut all the way through because it's going to be a fold here. You just want to cut just to where that dot is or at least what be, would be the equivalent of that dot on any of the other templates. And you see the bottom has these tabs and things like that and it's all um, ready to go. All right, let's try this out. Next, we are going to be folding the paper into shape, and it's important to know the different types of folds. There's really two main folds. Um, those are valley folds and mountain folds. A mountain fold is where the fold of the paper is towards you and resembles the peak of a mountain with the two flaps away from you, like this. A valley fold is just the opposite where the fold of the paper is away from you and resembles the trough of a valley with the two sides towards you. Now is the part where you actually get to use your straight edge if you think it might help a little bit better. Um, some of these folds will be able to use it more easily than others, um, but if you get frustrated using the straight edge, you don't have to use it if you uh, don't like using it. You can just use your hands. I'm going to start by folding the head first, but you can really follow uh, any of these folds any way that you'd like. I know for sure uh, that the ears are going to be a mountain fold. So we're going to follow this little dotted line there. I don't know if you can see that. It goes right across. So I'm going to take that and fold it behind like this. Okay. 
See how that's a mountain fold? So the peak is at the top and the flaps go down. Now the next fold here is going to be a valley fold. So we're gonna fold it the opposite direction. And it should go from this little white dot right here all the way across. So I'm gonna take my straight edge and I'm gonna help myself fold that a little bit easier by lining it up and then just kind of folding it against the side of the straight edge. And it gives me this nice little bend in the paper that can get that fold started. I can kind of just fold that over there like that. That should go right in the crack of that first flap. See how there's a little gap right there? That's where that, sh that fold should go. And I have those parts all done. Now also, there is a fold right here. I don't know if you can see it. It's very, very faint. Uh, but you'll see that it says valley fold on your instructions. So that also has to kind of come down like this. This one's a little bit tough because of the flaps that we just made. So now we have all these folds in place. And you see how now this wants to line up. See that shape is going to line up right, right there. See, as this folds down like this, these little zigzags line up with the face. Now this is where the tape comes in. So you just need a little bit of tape, a little bit of tape at a time. And I'm going to go to these tabs. These tabs will also be valley folds. So you have all these little tabs, they're up like this now, okay? They will go right behind the bottom part of the face and we'll just tape those down. All right, so it looks like the face is just about done there. I don't know if you can see that, yep. Now we're gonna make the base, okay? The base is much easier. There's just really two main folds on the body and then there's the flaps that make the bottom um, box part, okay? Almost done, like it's already standing up. All right, and then once you put your last piece of tape on the base and it holds itself together, then your project is finished. And that's all there is to it. Now you can take your little model and set it up a little bit away from you like this. Stand back and kind of look at the face and eventually your eyes will kind of focus on it in a little weird way and it'll look like it is following you with its eyes or its head. Kind of neat, all right? Now, if you have made this project at home, please tag us in your pictures that you're gonna post on social media. We wanna see it. Tag us at Fleet Science. Use the hashtag Fleet2Go, the word Fleet, the number two, and the word go. I would love to see your project, so please post them for us to kind of share in this together. All right, thanks for watching. See you later.